what's up guys all right so today we're going to be doing an operator guide on how to play montane this is a requested video so we're gonna be doing montane and I'm basically talking about how to play as monty how to be impactful not just bait while your teammates all die around you and how to actually effectively play and rank up while playing montane let's get to it all right well this is montane's loadout this is probably the easiest thing that you've seen except for the gadgets which we'll talk about i mean shield obviously Pistols, there's only really one real option here. The revolver is kind of fun to play around with, but there's one choice here, and it needs to be this pistol. You have multiple shots, you get a headshot, you kill them. So, enough. You have Harbridge Gadget, boom. This is really good for like certain maps. You can just like run, or run around and open up a main wall. You can basically function as a hard breacher. So, not a bad idea. Smoke, if you're going for like a glass play or a smoke plan or what, what have you. And EMP impacts, which are also nice if you're going to function with another hard breacher to get whatever's on the wall off the wall so you have a lot of options with your gadgets but uh everything else very simple all right let's talk about montane's ability so while you sprint your shield goes down but if you activate your ability your shield goes up all the way no one will be able to shoot you from the front which will show how to counter this as we go along this video but no one will be able to shoot you from the front so teammates can use the corner of your shields to shoot around you and shoot the enemy and you can walk forward without having to worry but be careful your sides are exposed you won't be able to shoot you won't be able to melee you have to put your shield down like so to be able to melee or shoot you can also hit fire hit fire is not very accurate but you are behind the shield while you do it so it's fairly safe so no more round is montane so what i like to do with montane is if i'm playing on a map like oregon and let's say they're we're pushing up top right I'm gonna take the charge. I'm gonna take the lead of pushing into the unknown because I can do it by far the safest. So I'm just checking my corners while I walk around my shilly, fully extended. If anyone gets close, I can like keep them at the door or I can like do that, take them out. We'll, shoot, we'll show you guys that a little bit later on in the video with some of my clips. You push forward, make sure you always check your corners because if you don't, you're gonna get shot in the back. Check your corners, boom. All right, good to go. And then I can just hold this door down and the defenders are going to throw a lot of utility at me and I can basically absorb that utility, slowly walk back, basically waste their time, make them focus on me, leaving more opportunities for my, my teammates to be able to have opportunities to frag them. And I can call out like, let's say someone should me from there, throwing smokes from here, from the kid's door, someone's on the attic, someone's playing close on Bolo. I can like call this all out to my teammates and they'll either be able to grenade them or find angles to be able to pick those guys off. And near the end of the round, I can either be the guy that is going to go for the plant because when you do plant, I mean, I'll show you guys what it looks like. It'll look like this, and this shield will absorb shots on your back. So you are fairly safe from the front. So you are probably one of the safest ops in the game to actually plant the bomb. Or you can just get aggressive. Honestly, you they, Montan has a lot of killing power. Think of like the boo like in uh, Mario, where you look away from the, the the ghost guy and he becomes visible and like can attack you and hurt you montane functions exactly like that like when no one's looking at me and you kill them like it is really fast to kill with a pistol so that's the normal round is montane so let's talk about monty's gadgets so you have the hard breach charge the smoke grenade or the emp canisters or oh, emp emp grenade impact grenades what am i saying anyways so you can in areas where you don't necessarily need a dedicated hard breach, you can function using a Monte. Let's say we're attacking top on Oregon again. Like we could just open the wall with Monte. I get two. So boom, and boom, the crouch walkable in and that's good enough. And we can have potentially four other people on primary weapons. You don't have to do it like this, but it does give you more options to change your lineup around. Let's say you're pushing like playing like bank and you only need a hard breach to get hatches. Monte can open those hatches. So here's how I use a smoke grenade like specifically. So I like to, as Montane, try to isolate 1v1s because if you're in a 2v1 situation, you are going to die because you sh when your shield's down or if you're ADS and we're fighting one guy like this or in a situation where you can melee someone, you're very exposed to anyone else. So what I like to use with my smoke grenades on is to isolate the 1v1s, all smoke off like that, push in and then take somebody out. 
they won't be able to push you through the smoke or see anything obviously so like they can't really they'll be guessing and you'll still have a shield even when you're ads you'll still have a shield in front of you so it is really hard for them to actually kill you yeah they can they can but it'll be a lot harder and the emp impacts obviously like on a map like let's say clubhouse when you're opening up the outside wall of server or hell even this wallet let's say there is a bandit or a mute and can't get the wall open i mean emp and then the harbor can do it or there's ads is here and you, one of your teammates has a grenade like so let's say so there's a defender hiding here and you have emp impacts and one of your teammates is like hey can someone bring the ads is yeah it's like yeah bro i'll uh, emp right here and get the ads is so they'll cook a grenade you'll throw an emp throw a grenade we're gonna kill so emp impacts have a lot more uses than just getting walls open too so uh, bad to bring them up as well all right guys so first i'm going to show you how to not play as montane and how people will probably counter you while playing montane so here you're gonna have a clip of me as legion it's on the iona montane shows up shortly afterwards i have a montane so his shield is fully extended like so i won't be able to really deal with him at all so I don't want to let him get too close because he will be able to put his shield down quickly and be able to melee me. So I want to keep my distance about where I'm at. As Montaigne, you want to close that distance. So because that is a feature of Montaigne, you can like push people back fairly easily. So watch, I have to fall back. It puts a shield down to force me to have to deal with him. But again, this was a bad time to put your shield down. Make sure that you are very exposed when you do this. So when you put your shield down, really make sure that you are in a good situation when they can get the high ground on you your shield can't go up i can get his head here i can see a lot of his shoulder i mean his feet if i am at his feet he can ads at me if, if he knows i'm shooting at his feet you'll ads and he'll just kill me so it's not super good to go for feet uh, against the mountain specifically but you can uh if the opportunity does arise but don't let the enemy have uh hurt on you i'm not i guess <laughs> i'm not sure what hide the high ground oh my god star wars quotes so we start shooting at the head. He puts a shield back up, realizes he can't get me there. So this is another way that I personally counter Montaigne. And you gotta be really wary of this because people are going to try to do this to you a lot. And this is trying to get around you. After they kill one of your teammates, so we kill that guy. Montaigne's right up on me. And he's gonna put his shield down to try to melee me here. And what happens here, he puts his shield down and I knife his shoulder. So you have to be very careful to make sure that when you're putting that shield down, you're facing the defender directly forward. Because if you don't, this happens to you. You get your shield knocked away, you get shot in the head. Or you just get flat out knifed. So be careful. All right, guys, and this is me playing as Montaigne now. This is one of the best spots I've found personally to play Montaigne like in almost all of Siege so far is pushing these zombies on Rathers. Honestly, it's really hard to do, but with a montane you can just walk up no real problem watch i just walk up no real issue i know they're there but what are they gonna do and now i isolate that azami to a 1v1 with me so azami has to focus on me while the breach is open and someone could potentially shoot her from the door so she has a lot of soft pressure so i'm gonna use that to my advantage here so i put my shield down but i don't necessarily go for the kill here i'm just trying to make her move wear her down just basically trying to make her uncomfortable so she doesn't know what i'm actually going to try to kill her and i get up the melee off so here again we get close we put the shield down but we don't i was facing her directly and she missed i mean she can't knock my knife away when she's like that and uh unless my shield is at my side if, if the shield is all the way down and they do go for a knife you have to be careful because you need to get the timing down when you put the shield down make sure to instantly go for a knife if they're really close to you she went for the knife really early so i didn't do that but make sure to go for a knife because if you don't they will knock your shield away and they'll be able to deal with you instantly so it is really easy to knock montane's shield away she takes a couple pot shots i realize she stopped shooting and i'm close enough for a melee with my shields on my side so this is a very easy melee kill here it has a little bit of range finish him off and people forget that Montaigne has a gun, so you are able to shoot people. So like here, you're going to see a situation where I just basically shoot while I'm covering the planter. Smoke pushing up. He 
acid headshot in that angle is very hard to hit that just tiny little head and all i have to do is get shots on him entirely and he goes down Being able to just peek an angle like that with your shield fully extended just to get that quick full intel is just so useful. We did the fire fight. Here's another situation while I play as Montane pushing up Raptors. This is one of my most recent YouTube videos. So we pressure up. He tries to get around me. The zombies are there, but they can't do anything to stop me. I get all the way up. My tries to get around me. I don't let him. He pushes back. He's trying to get around me to knife me. I don't let him. We keep him occupied while he dances around. Now he was worried about somebody else. He's trying to stay behind that zombie, so I know he's not going to get close anymore. I take some pot shots and then realize he's going to walk forward to try to go for the knife again. So I just ADS and take him out because I know that he's not ready for a gunfight here. And he's not very happy. He, a lot of people forget that Montan can't shoot. So this guy completely oblivious that I'm even here and can actually shoot at him. Very free kill. So that's already a 2k, boom. Fast forwarding a little bit. Okay. And we hold the angle, take another one out. So in a situation like this, it is a very reckless to kind of hold an angle like this. I don't really need to do this, but when it's like 4v2, uh, 4v2 like I'm just ready for the gunfight because I know that he's to the left. We have the firefight. Remember, the pistols are strong in Rainbow Six. You don't necessarily have to go just for the headshots. They do a lot of damage. They take people out in like a couple shots. So don't be afraid to just spam click as fast as you can. If you can't get a headshot, awesome. Go for it, obviously. But it is hard to just go for a headshot sometimes. So don't be afraid to just go for a body shot if you can get the damage in. All right, guys, that is it today about how to play as Montane, the shielder boy. Uh, he's a very easy op to use. I mean, very easy op to use, but very hard op to master a lot of people like will run montane when they're playing poorly or playing bad but i don't necessarily think that montane is a bad op you'll see a lot of good players play montane and they're very hard to deal with well you just have to be aggressive and play like the boo from mario and isolate your 1v1s if you take your fights in 1v1s i guarantee you you're going to win a lot more fights a lot of times when people play montane they're not paying attention to their surroundings and will get overwhelmed and they'll get pinched out so all right guys if you like this content and you want more operator guides or just more videos in general make sure to subscribe drop a comment and leave a like below and uh yeah appreciate you guys stopping by let's get it